Good evening, wrestling fans from the world famous AWL Arena in Tokyo, Japan. This is the Animated Wrestling League Hontai, episode 372, and it's debut time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Already in the ring, representing Zaidan J, Mr. Shota, and his opponent, making his way to the ring from the realm of the Yorkai, and making his AWL debut. Kitsune. We saw Shiroke Kitsune graduate from the AWL Dojo last week. That is considered part of his dojo training. So right now, Shiroke Kitsune is 0-0 zero zero in his AWL career. And this young practitioner of the Fox style of professional wrestling, ready to show the AWL what he can do. He's facing one of the members of Zaidan J, and of course it looks like the entire corporation here at ringside. The former Flying Yuki versus a Flying Fox, perhaps. We've seen very little of Fox-style Puroresu, but uh, we're going to see more of it right now. Call an elbow tie-up to start us off. A strength test of strength advantage to uh, Mr. Shulta. So getting used to calling him that. So, oh! Nice drop toe hold into the red rope. And off of the back. Oh, drop kick right to the spine of Mr. Shota to start us off. A very nice little beginning here in the Animated Wrestling League for Shiroke Kitsune. Multiple shots to the midsection to escape the hold there. Up, around, down, and hooks him up into a small package. One. Referee a little slow on the count there. That could have been at least a two count, possibly a three. I'm not sure. But right now, Shiroke Kitsune has his opponent literally on the ropes, and this is a rookie mistake going to the outside when your opponent has three compatriots on the outside. We see Yamada Jiro, we see Mr. Nobuyuki, and of course, the very kind assistant. 20 count on the outside. And of course, um, in a non-title match, a count-up victory is just as good as anything else here. Going up, and a good reversal by Mr. Shota, formerly of the Flying Yukis, but a good technical wrestler, good grappler as well, great sleeper hold as uh, Mr. Shota. But of course, now tonight, main event, we're going to have the AWL Grand Championship on the line. That means <sighs> Project Tetsu is in the ring. And here's a huge mistake by Shiroke Kitsune. Ooh! It's the atomic drop after the distraction by Mr. Nobuyuki and the rest of Zaidan J on the outside. AWL Hontai's Chiba Akage will face Project Tetsu 3.0 for the AWL Grand Championship. We've also got a good deal of tag team action in the men's and women's divisions here tonight. Back elbow escape and into that sleeper hold that I mentioned as that steel chair slid into the ring. Copious cheating by Zaidan J. Hard to be surprised by any of that. But Shiroke Kitsune manages the white furred fox, gets in and out, and he's going up to the top. Are we going to see the flying fox? I was going to make, I was making a joke earlier. Going up, and oh! Did not get anywhere near all of that. Maybe being a little bit ambitious in his first match on the AWL main roster here in the AWL arena. Stick to the basics, kid. Remember Dragon's lessons. And okay, some more interference on the outside here. But now going for a bit of a stump puller. Trying to hyperextend the knee or tear at the quadricep. Reversal by Mr. Shulta. But a beautiful attack into the cover. And wait a minute, the referee won. Two, that, okay, that was three count. That was a three count. Mr. Nobuyuki pulling the referee out of the ring. That should be a complete disqualification. But at least Mr. Nobuyuki being ejected from the ringside area. Better than nothing, I would say. Gives, what's he doing in the ring? Okay, this is ridiculous. Zaidan J cheating like hell. No hook of the leg by Mr. Shota. 
easy kick out by Shibuke Kitsune, but he's facing what has just gone down from a, a four-on-one to a three-on-one handicap match. Boom! Beautiful spin kick. Almost similar to Mr. Yobi. Wait, what? oh, come on. Again? Again? It's like the third time. Oh, this is ridiculous. Going up another atomic drop. Yeah, he is. Going for the tailbone. The shippo hone, maybe? I don't know. Kick to the midsection. River. Oh, wait, what is this? Whoa! That is a win. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what that spinning unprettier, uh, spinning kill switch is called, but I'm sure he's got a name for it. I'll try to find out before his next match. So we've had at least two or three situations here where Shiroke Kitsune should have already won this match. I'd hate for his first match in the AWL to go to a time limit draw because his opponents keep cheating, but we got something. He's going for, yeah, he's going for the superplex. Boom! Nails the superplex back into the ring. Dead center on that AWL logo. Shiroke Kitsune showing a tour de force here and another spin kick ducked under into a monkey flip by Mr. Shota of Zaidan J. With l about four and a half minutes left on the clock, we're going for a late, what is he doing? What is he doing? Mr. Shota, formerly of the Flying Yuki's tag team. Hiroyuki Shota, not gonna try to fly here, but instead a backdrop. And signs of fatigue showing up on Mr. Shota's body language, but now he does go to the top. He wants his opponent on his feet. He wants that high cross body block of his. And he hits it high cross body. Into the cover. Bullshit. Or should I say fox shit. Zaidan J picking up a victory. Now let's take a look at some of this. There's that endless light we saw at the beginning. Watch the count. One, two. This is where it should have been over. That is a match ending move. One, two, three. The referee's hand was on its way down for three. This is ridiculous. This is dumb. This is ridiculous. This is a ripoff. But the referee's decision is final. But I still say that should have been a disqualification. All right, we're going to find out the next member of the AWL Best Four in the Women's Tag Team Division. And we're going to do it with a three-way elimination match, AWL style. The following three-way tag team match is scheduled for up to five falls. In your sink first, making them win the ring from the secret base. Tag team combination of Resignado, Resuting, the Prosenta, and Resuninja. You heard the man, four or five falls to a finish. All six women will be legal in the ring at the same time. You pin someone, you eliminate them. You pin a team, that is considered a win for your team. The last woman, or the last team standing, are the winners and they will join the AWL best four and put themselves in title contention. Next, making their way to the ring from the human psyche, the original tag team, Yin and Yang. The original tag team, we call them that in for many reasons, not the least of which being they were the first ever tag team hired by this wrestling company. <laughs> and they are. AWL World Tag Team Champions in the past, back when the Tokyo Athletic Commission would let us do intergender wrestling. Hopefully, we get back to that someday. We'll have some big title unification matches in that case. And finally, making their way to the ring from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the tag team combination of Lady Smooth and Jessica Kidd and Emily Nagasaki. Together they are 
Taking a look over the uh, lot, the records for the tag team division over in AWL Strong and Free, they've currently got the number one and number two contenders in the best four. The three and four slots are vacant. So the Bird and the Bee, the final Chikara Campeonas de Parejas, and the Augments over on Strong and Free along with the World's Tag Team Champions, the Joshi Tag Team Champions, the Unholy Alliance of Monster Union. Now, in the interest of time, we are having to clip some of this match. We're showing you the highlights. It started off in a frenzy, and after the first several minutes, by the way, as you can see, 15-minute time limit, standard for non-title matches in the Tag Team Division, even with the additional personnel. eliminations that brought us down to members of three different teams. Emily Nagasaki, Universal Yellow, and Yin still alive for their respective teams. And we were down to two. Emily Nagasaki and UK Gen 2 have been eliminated. One victory to the Procenta, the Syringa. Now, Wrestle Pink, Yang, and Lady Smooth Jessica Kid eliminated earlier in the match. Again, we want to try to keep these videos as short, you know, shorter than we used to, so no, we're trying to avoid doing the hour to hour and 20 minute long videos anymore. So, we are down to two in this match, with about seven and a half minutes on the clock. Already one victory for the Puro Sentai, one loss for the UK Gen 2. Whip into the corner, these sort of elimination matches in the AWL, a good way to build up your win-loss records very, very quickly. And the AWL fans making their... We're, we allow them to cheer because... Just shut up, we allow them to cheer. Into the Turning over into a half Boston Crab as Yin in control, looking to... Oh, nope. Wrestle Yellow, our gender shifter, able to power her way out of this. Going, I think, for the Endless Light, she hits it. The Endless Light, innovated by the Warrior of Light, Majiku, here in the Animated Wrestling League. Ooh, Irish Whip back into the corner. Double, uh, sorry, double foot drop kick. It goes for the Kiro Kiku, misses. As Yin sent across the hypotenuse of that 20 by 20 foot ring. Trying to go around the code red or a code yellow. Unable to hold for the cover, unable to Nelson the legs, unable to force the shoulders down. But boom, there it is, the Kiro kick, the yellow kick. And going, oh yeah, gonna go for the cover, though in good positioning, away from the ropes. One, two, not so much. Russell Yellow needs to start thinking outside the box here. Dragon screw leg whip by the warrior from the light side of the human psyche. Yin, she's going up, maybe thinking full circle. No, elbow drop from the top. I miss being able to call that in every other match. Knee to the face by Russell Yellow. And okay, into a dragon sleeper. A mo I believe a, uh, yeah, a, a modified dragon sleeper. Oh, shot right to the head with the knee of Yin. These two have been wrestling in a chaotic six-woman elimination match for nearly 10 minutes. Fatigue gonna be a factor and a standing star press. I love a good standing star. I'm from the generation where that was considered the pinnacle of athletic ability. Jukun Jukun 10 minutes, 10 minutes lost into the final third of the time limit now. We still have our Grand Championship main event still to come, our semi-final match. Oh, what do we have here? We have a bow and arrow lock. We have to watch out as, oh, cover, no. Oh. That's the perfect way out of that hold. Great strategy by Yin. If you can, anytime you're in a submission maneuver, if you can leverage your way to force your opponent's shoulders to the mat, 
that will force them to kick out or lose the match. And Vintage Yin with the spin kicks in the corner, but a drop kick from Russell Yellow trying to save herself here. We also have one more tag team match, the number one contenders for the world's tag team titles will be facing off against their near season long rivals. It's gonna be The Pit versus Wyvern and The Great Tanuki. That's gonna be coming up next. You can check down the uh, chapter, subs the chapter subscriptions, no, the chapter markers in the uh, time bar of your YouTube window. You'll be able to see what you're doing there. Now I will point out, you can eliminate somebody you can eliminate somebody by a count out here. Though I know both of these women fairly well, they do not want it to end that way. They want to pin each other in the ring. There's no personal animosity here, but right now each woman is standing in the other's way of the Joshi tag team titles, getting into that title picture. Oh, face first. Referees count up to eight. Remember, 20 count in the AWL Japanese wrestling rules applying here in AWL Huntai. Halfway now. Roll in. And yes, Wrestling Yellow gonna follow her in. Something Back where we belong within the confines of the square circle. Three minutes. Three minutes left. Time definitely a factor now. Less than three minutes on the clock. And neither of these two women are showing any signs of slowing down. Russell Yellow going to pull back, back into that bow and arrow. Does Yin have the wherewithal to flip over into the cover at this point? Yes, she does. And Russell Yellow with the wherewithal to kick out. What do we have here going? Simple headlock. Both women looking for an opening here. I think the next person to make a mistake is going to lose the match. Oh, spear by Yin! Yin with the spear for the one, two, three, no! Very, very, very close. Over the top, down to the floor, and Yin is going to try to do the full circle on the outside. Two minutes, two minutes left. And a, oh, high cross body! I think she, she did not get it! She did not get it. She did not get it. That could be the one mistake. That could be the one final and fatal mistake. As Wrestle Yellow doing what damage she can on the way back in. Jesus Christ. You blame me for cutting out the first five minutes of the match. I would have had to cut some of this. 90 seconds on the clock. Another attempt at the elbow or the full circle. No. Going up, cross, no, Connor, 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 down! The Super Sentai Super Slam. No time to pose, come on. Wrestle Yellow, you do not have time to waste here. Standing Star! One minute left. Standing Star press in the final minute. Springboard, Swanton. And the referee says, no, that is enough. She is unconscious. Yin not defending herself intelligently. The referee forced to call the knockout. Here are your winners. The Pro Sentai, Resident Ninja. And there you have it, the number three contenders in the AWL Best Four. We move now to the men's tag team division, Wyvern and Tanuki versus The Pit. We begin Immediate Rest. And it's going to be Dragon versus Giant versus Demon from the Other World. The forces of the pit, this tag team of Sombonaiba and Gyokto, have had a title match owed to them since last season. And basically, I think they're getting tired of waiting. Looking at the win-loss record, Sombo no Yaiba comes into this match, record of 16 and 12. Wyvern, a record of 56 and 47. So the experience gulf is enormous here, broader than Sombo no Yaiba's shoulders. But Wyvern with a plus nine win-loss ratio, and Sombo no Yaiba 
with a plus four. So not that much of a difference when it comes to what matters in the Animated Wrestling League, and that is your win-loss ratio. Tag made to the great Tanuki, who is in perfect balance in his AWL career. Two wins and two losses. One of the newer wrestlers here in the AWL, representing this wave of metanatural competitors. The, uh, the Tanuki from the Mysterious Forest. We now have a Whiteford Fox. We've got our uh, cat daughter, Nekamusume, over in AWL Strong and Free, one half of the current Joshi Tag Team Champions. It's, uh, it's turning into a menagerie around here. And I think that's a good thing. Irish Whip into the corner, tag Kogeki opportunity, and we're gonna see it. Yes, we are, big tag is made. Vertical suplex, cross body combination, or an assisted vertical suplex, you could say, as we bring in Gyokdo, the dark rabbit of the moon. 56 and 54, this is his 111th AWL match. He is also the number three contender in the singles best four, which means he's looking at a tag, t at a uh, grand championship opportunity. He will move up to the number two rank at the end of the night, regardless of whether Project Tetsu 3.0 successfully defends the Grand Championship in the main event, or we crown a new champion in the sign of submission, Chiba Akagi. So there's a possibility Gyokuto currently standing in a position to possibly become a double champion, hold the Grand Championship and the World's Tag Team titles at the same time. I don't believe anyone's ever done that simultaneously. Tag made into Wyvern. Got the two, I would say, more conventional high flyers here. Nothing about the great Tanuki is conventional. He's a practitioner of sneaky style. But up and down with the standing Meteora, the young dragon, Wyvern, he's part of the... He, actually, why are we still calling him a young dragon? He's been here forever. Mochi Pounder! If you know the story of the Rabbit of the Moon, you'll get that reference. And down comes Gyokuto. Sombo no Yaiba. Oh! Double-handed choke bomb. Not pretty as the referee tries to regain some order here. And of course you've got the demon Gisei on the outside. Dragon drop! Dragon drop number one. The move bequeathed to him by his trainer, his mentor, Dragon, the original AWL Dragon. And going now, Shinji Dai, Sunrise! The rise of the new era! What? But the referee nowhere in town dealing with Sombo no Yaiba and Gisei. And that's the difference between a rookie like Shiroke Kitsune and a more seasoned veteran like Wyvern. They realize there's no pounding of the mat, there's no referee. They drop the hold and get, go do something else. Up to the top rope, Senton. Cross body off of the middle rope. And into the Bulldog. Boom, wheelbarrow Bulldog. The young dragon with all the potential in the world here. Former AWL Grand Champion. They defeated the Pit, this team of Wyvern and uh, the great Tanuki. Defeated the Pit in order to earn a tag team title match not that long ago. Oh! Out of nowhere off of the ropes with a drop kick. What do we have here? And. Nope, going up and down. Irish whip into the corner. Gyokto in control. And Gyokto is sagi no moon salto. Dark side of the moon salt. Never underestimate the rabbit wrestlers here in the Animated Wrestling League. They may look a bit silly, but incredible body agency, incredible leaping ability. And wait a minute, cheap shot from Sombo no Yaiba. But Gyokto not able to take full control, though he does dump Wyvern on the outside. Now, how is Gyokto going to follow up here? Looks like he's going up to the top rope. This could be very, very bad for Wyvern. And, oh! Overshot Wyvern. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Wyvern stumbling into success there, but Sombo no Yaiba giving the advantage back to the Dark Rabbit of the Moon. Dragon will, sorry, Wyvern will not quit. He will not give up. But he's going to have to fight through Gyokuto here. 
Now, this team of The Pit, Gyokto and Sonbu no Yaiba, they actually have not won a match, a tag team match, this season. Their right to challenge for the World Tag Team title is based off of their performance last season. And frankly, I don't agree with that, but that's what the AWL commissioner has decreed. And this is why we needed to do the Forge the Four tournament. We need to do that every season to settle who the best four are. Going up here. And I, when I said never underestimate the rabbit wrestlers in the AWL, this is what I'm talking about. 20 foot leap. 20 feet across the ring, corner to corner, kick right to the face, and into the cover, one. Great Tanuki able to break it up, but barely. Though a good dodge on that drop kick to avoid doing any damage on his way out of the ring, or suffering any damage on his way out of the ring. We're back to Gyokto and Wyvern, your legal combatants. Wyvern kicks out of the corner, but he gets a back elbow for his trouble. No, oh, another mochi pounder. He saw it so well as a mochi pounder. The hammer comes down for the one. But yet again, the great, the great Tanuki from the mysterious forest, Shiginomori. Uh oh. Okay, thought Gyokto was going to go for a weapon there for a second. Guess not. Didn't want to risk disqualification. I can understand that. Uppercut by Wyvern. Seven minutes and change left, plenty of time, snapmare. Downward elbow, that's illegal in mixed martial arts, completely legal here. And a stomp, I think he stomped him on the ears. Ow! Almost a dirty shot there, but the tag made to the man mountain. Wyvern right back up to his feet! Wyvern showing fire, not backing down in the face of a muscle mountain. Off of the ropes, boom! Oh! Ow! Right to the, right to the temple, that... That's got to be an... Uh, uh, he could have won there. He could have... I, I think he's going to. That was just an exclamation mark. But no. Wyvern is not moving. He is uneffing conscious. Staggering to his feet. Doesn't have a damn clue where he is. Oh, God. Across the Sansu River. Powerbomb toss. Drags the carcass back to the center of the ring. This match is over. One, two, three. The interference not able to save the match. If Sombo no Yaiba could do that to Tiger Mask 2 or Tiger the Dark, despite their lackluster tag team season thus far, we could have new tag team champions in the pit. Wyvern taking so much damage throughout this match. That voice, I don't know where that comes from, but that personal ring announcer of the demonic forces of the pit could have a fair argument here. Your winners tonight, and maybe for the tag team titles. It's a big fight feel here in the AWL arena. Chiba Akagi challenges Project Tetsu for the biggest prize of them all. The following contest is your main event of the evening. It is scheduled for one fall, one submission or a knockout to decide the winner. And it is for the Animated Wrestling League Grand Championship. Back at AWL 200 in the Tokyo Dome, this man, Chiba Akagi, cashed in the AWL Intercontinental Championship to face Project Tetsu 1.0 for the AWL Grand Championship in his chosen match, a 30-minute Iron Man submission match. Most submissions in half an hour to pick up the victory, and in the end, Chiba Akagi won with a record Nine to four, nine submissions, most of which with his signature submission move, the Manjigatame. But tonight, it is one fall to the finish. Chiba Akagi, the number one contender, but he has no right to name the stipulations. 
However, one slight difference. Project Tetsu, the AWL Grand Champion, is on his own. AWL contracts stipulate that champions may float between brands, while Project Tetsu and the rest of the Augments are members of the AWL Strong and Free roster over in Canada. Dr. Jigoku, Project Z, the rest of the Augments, none of them have the right to travel here to Japan to accompany this monstrosity. So he is with he is with only pre-programmed orders. His creator, Dr. Jigoku, the mad scientist of professional wrestling, not here. Not allowed to be. Is that fair fight going to be the difference between victory and defeat? Back in, I believe it was 2017. The A the AWL Grand Championship changed hands between these two. Will it happen again? Coming into this match, Chiba Akagi with a record of 40 and 22. Win-loss ratio of plus 18. Project Tetsu, on the other hand, comes into this match a record of 75 and 51, ratio of plus 24. They are two of the top performers in the Animated Wrestling League. But will the numbers tell the tale? Tonight it could come down, man versus machine, engineering versus fighting spirit. Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of Yokohama, Japan. He is the number one contender in the AWL Best Four. The Scion of Submission, Shiba Akagi! And his opponent is the reigning and defending Animated Wrestling League Grand Champion tonight, making his first head defense, fighting out of the laboratory, Project Tetsu 3.0. This is an officially sanctioned Grand Championship match under the auspices of the Animated Wrestling League. AWL Commissioner presiding. And the sound of the bell, AWL Senior Official Joey Bob Ganoush in charge. We are sold out tonight in the AWL Arena. Big fight feel. And it's all for that. The AWL Grand Championship. The richest prize in all of animated wrestling. And we see these two ready to clash. For the goal, 30 minutes on the clock. Oh, and the, oh wow, doesn't take him off his feet. Oh, backflip out of the sidewalk slam, and he does it again. Chiba Akagi coming up and takes the his opponent down, takes the champion down in the Tachiai, the first attack. And, oh, there goes all that momentum. But Chiba Akagi showing in the opening seconds that he knows how to deal with the offense of Project Tetsu 3.0 Dragon Screw Leg Whip. And he's going to want to try to keep the champion off his feet as often as possible. The challenger is going to be looking to lock on the Manjigatame or one of the hundreds of other submission holds that he has mastered over the years. Whereas Project Tetsu is going to go to basic augment strategy, pick him up, put him down, and make it hurt. So we're going to expect the sidewalk slam. We're going to expect the Omega, the, uh, the Tetsu driver. If we're going to go for a submission, maybe the Tetsukini. Or maybe trying to force a count out here. Champion's advantage, of course, in effect here. Slide back into the ring. The Scion of Submission wants to keep this within the ropes, obviously, as challenger. Big boot by the champion. All the time in the world to play with. Look at this. Deadlift from the ground up. Powerbomb. Normally you do a powerbomb, your opponent starts at a standing position. That deadlift from the ground version takes a lot more energy. Kick away by the challenger. Able to get back to his feet. He's going to have to start locking. Oh, there we go. Just as I was about to see, he start locking on the submission holds. There's that Google Plata. Trying to trap the arm, choke out, use the muscles of the legs, and actually the boots in this case, to choke out what's left of the circulatory system of Project Tetsu 3.0. Now remember, most of Chiba Kage's experience here 
is out of date. He's fought, he won the Grand Championship from Project Tetsu 1.0. And I'm pretty sure he was at least marginally more human back then. Going in and out of the ring to reset the count. The AWL fans showing exactly what they think of this. This is indeed awesome. A big time match here at AWL 372 in the original branch of the Animated Wrestling League, AWL Hontai 1, 2. Hontai, Hombun, etc. Miss with the kick to the back, going up. Oh, backdrop driver folds him up like an accordion. I don't, uh oh, I think he's lagging. The cybernetic monstrosity. I'm taking a little more time to process things, maybe with Dr. Jigoku not here at ringside. Shibakagi shakes off the uh, possible concussion. And, oh, big knee strike right to, I think he still has a stomach, I'm not sure. I don't think he actually eats anymore. Shibakagi, try, uh, oh, he's gonna go for it. Standing Uranagi. Uranagi throw, he loves that. And look at, okay, this is the definition of a super heavyweight. And still able to grab that waist lock and roll him around. Belly to belly slam by the champion. Could be looking for a choke slam, could be looking for the Tetsu driver. He's, no, he's going for the choke slam, but he's not gonna get it. Going for a DDT position counter. No, twins, it turns into a neck breaker. Chiba Kagi's gonna have to outthink his opponent here. Springboard backsplash. Digging deep into the playbook. I don't think he's used that move on, on Project Tetsu before. Chiba Kagi escapes. As I said, the number one contender in the AWL Best Four waiting in the wings. The current number two is Shenron, the spirit dragon, the master of motion of AWL Strong and Free. And Shenron, Chiba Kagi, that's a main event anywhere in the world. I would love to see that. Oh, look at this, going for the joints. He's got him locked up, straight jacket hold. In case you notice the Japanese stranglehold. The Project Tetsu able to power out of it, and even though his creator is not here, he still does it all for Dr. Jigoku. Subite, Jigoku Hakase no Tameni. Ooh, big smash. Up, down with the backbreaker. 25 minutes remaining, roughly. We're gonna get our first time call momentarily. Oh god, headbutts, those are illegal. That's gonna be a charge to Dr. Jigoku's expense account. And right back to the Google Plata, grabbing it out of midair. But the legs of Project Tetsu under the ropes. The referee does call for the break. Good call by senior official Joey Babaganoush of the famous Babaganoush wrestling family. Calling it right down the middle. Nobody likes Dr. Jigoku, nobody likes the augments. But he is going to call it fair and square. One, two, and nobody at ringside for any kind of interference tonight. As Chiba Kagi, he's looking for something. If he's looking for that Manji Gatame, if he can lock that in, he beat 1.0 so easily with this. He's got it! Manji Gatame! The Manji Gatame! Call it the octopus hold! Call it the Manji Gatame! Call it whatever you like! But it's locked in hard and deep! One submission is all it takes for a new grand champion! Shiba Kagi surrenders the hold. I don't know why. Maybe trying for something more. He's going for the, he's trying to build up a death lock, I think. Yes, he does. Builds up that death lock, but very close to the ropes, so I don't Yes! Okay, I think, yeah, he hit the plane of the ropes. That calls for the rope break. And that's the problem when you're trying to submit someone as big and tall as Project Tetsu, the Iron Project. Uh oh, going right back! He's got it back! He's got it back! But you see the the red rope. Is the referee gonna count that? No, he isn't! We're into the This could do no, he's got him up, he's got him up! Sidewalk slam! Project Tetsu started using the sidewalk slam as a counter to Chiba Akagi back in the day. And going out, he's gonna do it again. Sidewalk slam! Cover. One, two. No! Okay, I thought that was over. Chiba Kagi somehow pulling out a vic Okay, no, this is gonna be it. I can tell. He's, I think he's looking for the Tetsu Driver. Yes, he is. He's Satsuwaza. Tetsu Driver! 
And the referee, and I gotta agree with this call, that's a knockout. title match. It's going to be Shenron versus Project Tetsu. It won't be man versus machine. It's going to be machine versus master of motion. We'll see you next week. Kore de kimarida.